I'm Han. And I'm Kat, and we are Brews and Reviews. Welcome to day 15 of the Spring Duet Videothon, which we host with Danny Buxton, Brooke Clark, Christina's Journey, The Story, and Stacks and Stacks and Stacks. Today's prompt is basically the books that we want to reread this year. We've got so many that we do want to reread, but we're just bringing in the kind of ones that spring to mind, I suppose, aren't we? Yeah. So, the first series that I want to reread this year is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I'm not going to go on about this series. I've been going on about this series for a while now. If you watched our 24 hour readathon uh, vlog that we did a couple weeks ago, then you'll know that I started reading them then. I'm on Battle of the Labyrinth at the moment. I'm about halfway through that, if you can see that bookmark. Probably not. But, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying him. Such nostalgia. Love it. Definitely need to finish this so I can get on to the next books. The Heroes of Olympus books are there. Yes. Yeah, I need to get on to those. So, a series that I want to reread and I'm currently getting through is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Again, not going to talk about it. We pretty much talk about it every single video because it's my all-time fave. It's a wonderful world and I'm loving rereading it and getting to love all the characters again. To be fair, I'm rereading those also because I never actually finished them, so I'm rereading the first four. Yes. And then I'll Carry actually be. Oh, I just spilled coffee down myself. Um... Oh, but we're reading that, and that's good. Yay. I want to continue with the Shannara series by Terry Brooks. So I am currently rereading The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. I am just past halfway through. I'm listening to this on audiobook because I knew I wouldn't pick it up if it was the physical book of it because I remember when I first read it I didn't really enjoy it that much. I'm not enjoying it that much <laughs> now. Do you guys want another Complaints with Cat? Because I feel like this could have a Complaints with Cat. Like, let us know down in the comments if you want that because... We haven't brought you one of them in a while. Surely we're due for one. I think, I think probably. <laughs> if you want to hear some complaining please Please let, let me know, know because this book is a great candidate for that. This book is basically a high fantasy book about people who go on a quest. I mean, let's be real here, it's Lord of the Rings. It's like word for word Lord of the Rings. But shit copy. Yeah, like a squeaky clean, less interesting copy of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And uh, there's still... 300 something pages left. Yay! I should probably know by now. I am taking part in Emma Books' Read Along with, you know, Mortal Instruments, Infernal Devices. So I am also rereading this, which was on my list to reread. And then I saw her idea of a read along and I was like, yes, thank you. So yeah, I am currently on Infernal Devices, um, Clockwork Angel. And I'm loving it. To be fair, like, I've only. I've read this one twice and I think the second one twice, but I, I've only read the third one once, so it'll be nice to actually, and I haven't read them in such a long time, like years, so it'll be nice to actually get through them again and remembering how much I enjoy them. Yeah, definitely. Which is nice. I really like them. I can't wait till we can actually just chat about them. Yeah, like, that'd be because nice. Because I feel like you'd forgotten quite a lot of the things when I'd read them and I was like, how about this? And you were like, oh, yeah, yeah, that. So it'd be good. Next up on my reread list is the Black Magician Trilogy by Trudy Canavan. Um, I've read the first one, seen that in a wrap up, I probably talk about it a lot. Still have to read the second and third one in my reread and I can't wait to do that because I really enjoyed the series. It is just, just has a place in our hearts it I think, really this does, series. Yeah. So I, I haven't reread it for such a long time and I thought it is about time that I just went there, I'd pick it up and I'd go back to it because I just remember loving it so much, like the entire series. So another series that I'd like to reread is Peregrine and the End of Days, Angel, well all of it, but the Angel Falls the first one by Susan E. And this is basically kind of like a, a bit of a, an apocalyptic world where the aliens of the aliens, the aliens, aliens, the alien fall, <laughs> I know, <laughs> where the angels have come to earth and basically destroyed it and they're not very nice angels and basically this girl called Pemrin has to go on a mission to rescue her sister who was taken by the angels so and in this you know she meets another angel and they kind of have to work together to achieve both of 
their goals, I suppose. Um, you know, lots of things happen and it's quite interesting. But I remember really loving it when I read it. And But now it's like, oh, it's a bit hazy, my memory is. And I can't fully remember how A got to B got to C got to... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 they're like all of it. Yeah, I remember <laughs> bits and yeah. bobs, but I don't know where they come in the story. So I just really want to reread it because I know I really enjoyed it. Next up is the Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr. Now, this is one of our favourite Faye series. I say our because it is ours, it is, but yeah. I'm the one that's rereading it this year. Um, I actually read Wicked Lovely last year and didn't carry on with it. I think because I got distracted by like a buddy read or something, so I, I don't know why I didn't. I want to do that this year. It's a Faye series and it's an urban fantasy and it's dark and you shouldn't trust any of the people who are in it because bad times for you if you do. Um, it, it's just everything that I would want in a Faye book, I think. Yeah. So if you want a really good Faye book, I would say go for this because it's awesome. I'm just rereading it because, like I said, one of my all-time all favourite Faye books, I need to get back into like a good Faye thing. I feel like yeah. I'm not really found any Faye books that are exciting me at the moment that are, like I haven't really the ones I've read have been like yeah so I, I kind of want to go back to this so I can go like oh no this is how Faye should be so I can just like reaffirm that in my mind another series that I would like to reread and I, I haven't read this and well let's say I did read this when I was in high school I was probably about 13 maybe 15 so a long time ago and it is the Shiver, uh, well, quartet. That's it, quartet. I was like, quartet. Quadrilogy. So yeah, the quadrilogy. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Quartet, qu quadrilogy. I don't know words. The four set. <laughs> That'll do. By Maggie Steve Barter, and I don't know. I saw it. Well, you saw it. Yeah. As a deal and. I was talking about another series and it made me, because of the author, um, Maggie Steve Potter, like she wrote The Raven Boys, and I was talking about it and I remember how much I really, really enjoyed that series and then I was like, oh yeah, but she did Shiver Linger Forever and all them. And I was like, I used to love them as a kid, but then I was thinking, would I still love them now? So I'm going to put it up to the test I'm going to see if I actually really enjoy it or if I actually read it now and think, wow, what a load of fucking shit. Which could happen. It could you don't happen. know. It kind of happened what? with um, Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't like that one on rereading. No, no, so. I, I, I couldn't even finish it, could I? Whereas when I first read it, I kind of liked it, and that was an angel book. Um, this is a werewolf book, this is about werewolves. I can't really remember what it is. I think somebody gets bitten and she gets turned into a. I don't really know. I can't, I generally can't tell you until I've read them and then I can talk about it. But I remember I did like it for some reason so oh yeah i'm gonna give it a shot why not speaking of not being able to remember what a book that you've read is about <laughs> we have sword in the storm by david gemmel now this is part of the Riganti regant series i don't know how you pronounce it i think it's regant we're gonna go with that <sighs> it's part of the regant series um which is completely separate from his other books there are four books in the series and i have only read the first three don't know why i didn't read the fourth one like, there's literally only one detail that I could tell you about this book, and it is not... It's because something that happens in it really annoys me, and I'm like... Why are you doing that? that? Yeah, somebody makes a terrible decision in it, and I hope that has stuck with me. But I don't really remember much else about this book. I remember the second and the third book more clearly than I remember this one. So, the aim of the game is to reread this book and the other two, so I can finally wrap up the series and read all four of them. Because... It's been like 12 years. It's been a long time. <laughs> long time. Do you know what's just occurred to me? What? With you saying obviously you want to reread it so you can get to the fourth one. Mm -hmm. I never read the fourth one of the Shiver Linger Forever trilogy. That's why I keep thinking of it as a trilogy. Yeah. That's why saying it as a f four, whatever it is, like that's why it doesn't think it because I've never read Sinner. So that would be nice to reread it and then. And then see how it actually it. ends. Unless I did actually read it, but I can't remember it. I don't no, I think like, I did. I don't think I did finish it. I feel like it probably wasn't out when you were reading it. Yeah. I think it was one of those ones that was coming out as in like the whole Twilight phase yeah. of everything being the sort of similar yeah. YA thing. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. 
Another series that I'd really like to reread this year is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Now, I read this a while back and I can remember reading the first one and I really loved it because I felt like him in it. Yeah. I felt like, oh my god, what the heck is happening? Imagine being thrown into a world like that and not knowing what's going on and, you know, and I loved it. I thought it was so, like, exhilarating and tense and everything. But, I can remember as the series got on, I didn't enjoy it as much, but I can't remember what my overall thought of the series was. Yeah. Like, I can't generally remember, and I can't remember... Like, the, the next two books kind of phase into one for me. Like, I can't, yeah. you know. So I'd really like to reread them to just get them fresh in my head and actually decide what I do think on them, whether I liked them, whether I didn't, you know, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I just want to read about Newt, really, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Newt, he's such a sweetie. Even though I know he'll make me cry again, but, you know. Still need to do it. Still need my Newt fix. Last but not least... We have the series that I've been working my way through so far this year, and that is the Draenei series by David Gemmell. Please ignore my battered copy. This is my first ever copy of Legend, and I still love it even though it is has been destroyed by someone I lent it to. Not you. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't Hannah, don't worry. She wouldn't, she wouldn't do that to she wouldn't do that to a book. Um okay, so the Draenei series starts with Legend, and then goes on to King Beyond the Gate, then Waylander, Waylander 2, Quest for Lost Heroes, The First Chronicles of Just the Legend, Hero in the Shadows, Legend of Deathwalker, Winter Warriors... I mean, you can't find the rest of them because they're hardbacks, White Wolf, and The Swords of Night and Day. So it's a big series. It is, like, epic, heroic fantasy books with characters who are just awesome. I love them so much. Have you read the whole series? Before? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love the whole series. It it just has this special place in my heart and I've not reread them for so long. I think I first read them when I was about 13 and like they've stuck with me as my favorite series since then because they're just amazing. So I've recently uh, in the train of this how much I've done this year. I didn't read Legend this year, but I probably listened to it because I kind of want to listen listen to it. I've got it on audiobook oh so I'll probably listen to it but I will probably read it at some point this year because I just like reading it every year. I have read King Beyond the Gate, Waylander and Waylander 2 so far so next up is Quest for Lost Heroes and I'm probably going to start that this month because it's just I remember that one very vividly and I remember loving it so much so I'm very excited. So that's it for the books but just hold on a second you've got to look at this epic mug. I mean it's fading again now because obviously I've drank from it and <laughs> the tea's like here so that's why the colour's up to there but yeah it's a magic mug and I've been after a Pokemon mug for so long and then I found the Harry Potter slash Pokemon mug and I loved it but I don't think it's very clear what it is mm. so and Charmander's my favourite Pokemon so I was either looking for like a Pokemon, like an epic Pokemon mug or an epic Charmander mug and I just haven't been able to find any anywhere. No, I? there's been none around no. anywhere. And then we saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's just perfect. I really, really like it. So yeah, we've um, included a little video of, of it to show you how it magic sucks. I'm really impressed by it. And I want everyone else to be impressed too by it because I love it. today's video. Um, please do check out the other hosts videos because I want to know what they want to reread. Yeah. Like, I want to know what you guys want to reread. What books do you want to reread? If you filmed anything for this prompt, please leave it in the comments below so we can check your video out. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.